Hey, uh, welcome and thanks for checking out uh, the demo of this vintage Kramer. Um, not sure what kind of Kramer it is because the neck is not an original Kramer, but um, the body and pickup are. <clears throat> I'm not sure if the uh, Floyd actually is original with the guitar, but um, I'm assuming they they might very well be because both the uh, the pickup and the uh, bridge are from the uh, early 80s mid to early 80s so this is an original edition Floyd Rose it's not the reissue it's the original German made um, Floyd without the fine tuners it does lock and the uh, pickup is an, uh, a vintage EMG pickup doesn't say anything on the pickup other than EMG, and uh, I believe this is the uh, one of the first editions of the active pickup that EMG introduced when they uh, came up with the idea for active pickups. And uh, it's funny, I'm not really an active pickup guy, I'm more of a passive pickup guy, but um, the more I play active pickups, the more I really like them, um, and especially the EMGs, because you, you just gotta love how dead quiet they are so uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure that it's safe to say that the uh, the Floyd and the pickup are original as is the circuit for the uh, the pickup um, the uh, people keep asking me what's the you know what's the body made out of uh, wood wise and uh, I, I really don't know it looks like maple like some sort of a maple top but it might be a ply body it looks like a ply underneath so I can't really tell but you know the the actual question you want to be asking is what does the guitar in total sound like? What's the totality of the guitar sound like? Because a guitar like this is meant to be played loud with high gain or distortion. You know, it's an '80s rock guitar, um, and so frankly, you know, if the body was made out of the uh, the flesh of the Blessed Virgin and the rest of the parts all sucked, the guitar would still sound terrible. So it's really about the totality of everything. The neck, the circuitry, the bridge, the pickups, all of it together. How does it sound? So we're going to find out in a second. So right now I've got the guitar plugged in um, and there's no sound. Why is that? Well that's because there's an on-off switch right here that I added and the reason I added that for several reasons First, it allows you to leave the guitar plugged in without draining the battery on the active pickup. Um, if you, you know, without that, you would be draining the battery uh, if you leave the guitar plugged in. Other advantages to it, though, of course, are to turn the guitar off in between songs uh, for guitar changes or in between sets. You just want to leave the guitar plugged in. So um, this allows you to do that. And there's already a hole there, so if you want to swap that out for a momentary kill switch, for example, you can do that as well, or put another uh, tone knob there or something. Um, the neck is a uh, Fender-style neck with a CBS-style headstock on it. Uh, it's actually a maple neck um, with a rosewood fingerboard that's been stained ebony black with... Uh, the uh, stain from Stumac, and I just restained the neck uh, just a couple of days ago, so uh, it's got that nice sort of cool black look to it. I've buffed and leveled all the frets, and um, guitar stays in tune amazingly well. And what I've learned over the years is that as long as the you know the guitar locks at some point, um, either at the bridge or at the nut, you should be good. In this case, it's locking obviously at the bridge. And as long as your nut is well lubed, the uh, the trick to uh, staying in tune with this particular kind of bridge, Floyd bridge without the fine tuners, is to actually string, put the strings in from the ball end through the posts. And what the balls do, usually you cut off the balls to uh, feed into the Floyd, but in this case you actually leave the ball ends on and you feed them through the posts and the balls lock the strings at the posts. And so the guitar is just, it stays in tune as though it locked at the nut and at the bridge. Um, so really great tuning stability, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. Um, and so no need to 
hassle with a locking nut, which is always a pain in the ass as far as I was concerned. Another cool thing about the guitar, um, another mod that's been added is a micro tilt system, which uh, basically in between the uh, in the neck pocket, uh, there's a little micro tilt device that you access with an Allen key through here. There's a set screw and you adjust the set screw and it hits a metal disc that's built into the plate or the uh, heel of the neck rather and you can adjust the pitch of the neck at the heel and that allows you to get really super straight fast playability you know so the, the string uh, the the action is consistent up and down the neck it's not like it's you know low down here then suddenly gets higher it stays the same that's a huge all my guitars have that once i that's a Fender, it's a Leo Fender invention, and once I discovered that, um, I never had to shim a neck again. That's, that's just great. Uh, what else is cool about this thing? Um, the circuit that comes with this uh, EMG is a push-pull circuit. And in the, uh, when it's up, um, it sounds like a coil tap. And my guess is that when EMG came out with the whole active pickup idea, they wanted to... Uh, impress upon people that you had versatility from an active pickup. Not only are they dead quiet, but you can get different tones out of them. And so this, this circuit here demonstrates that. And you can get a basically what sounds like a coil tap sound, a single coil kind of a tone out of this pickup, as well as a full power humbucker sound. But the cool thing is, in the uh, single coil sound, I mean, there's no coils here, so it's hard for me to understand exactly what's going on electronically, but um, in the up position, you get all the clarity and, and pop and you know sparkle of a that single coil kind of tone, but with no hum at all, no hiss, no nothing. And of course, same goes for the uh, humbucking position. Um, even if you have passive pickups uh, uh, and, and a humbucker, and then you start adding pedals and gain, you're going to get noise. It's just... It's just, you know, guaranteed. But with active pickups, you do not get noise. Um, and that's why you're seeing more and more rock players uh, going to the uh, sort of active pickups these days because uh, they really have um, really mastered active pickup CMGs. Uh, the other thing is that there's a, a tone here, obviously. Um, this tone though is very subtle. It's got a, a sprague orange drop cap in it, and it's just m meant to color the mid ranges. So it's not like a traditional um, tone that where you tone it and you hear the, the whole thing go muddy. It's really more about it's only really adjusting the mid range and uh, coloring it, and you notice it really on the uh, distortion and high gain settings. Okay, so turn the guitar on with the switch. And I've got it now in single coil mode. And you can hear how it stays in tune really, really well. So that's single coil in a clean setting, nice pop. And let's put some distortion on and see what happens.
to play a, uh, some just chords, uh, a few riffs using all six strings with distortion, and I'm just playing through a Roland uh, Cube light. There's no pedals on or anything. It's just the distortion set. There's three settings on this amp: a clean, distortion, and gain. So that's that's all it is. Um, so let's just this is the distortion setting. <laughs> single coil um, that's the single coil mode now let's hear it in high gain in single coil mode and you got the already it sounds killer Scott, that's single coil mode and you know no hum and it's just uh, you can hear all the articulation of all the strings even when I'm playing you know chords with all six strings not just power chords but full full six string chords you can hear all the different notes <laughs> back to clean. Now here we are in humbucker mode. And already you can hear the uh, the level change. A lot more power obviously. Danny Gatton, I'm not, obviously, but <laughs> practicing my chicken picking. Okay, let's hear it on distortion now.
let's do high gain. This is obviously where the guitar really kicks ass. So there you have it. <clears throat> a lot of fun, you know, good to practice on. I need lots more practice, as you can tell. But um, yeah, it's just a kick ass uh, 80s rock guitar. Um, some of the finishes rubbing off on the Floyd, I've noticed. So I, this is how I know this is from like 82 or 83 or something. It's one of the first, very first editions of the Floyd Rose he made for Brad Gillis, I believe. <clears throat> Um, so there you have it. Yeah, very cool guitar, and uh, thanks for watching.